get me. Okay, Sorry. so this patient comes into the ED. She's rapidly, rapidly delivering. So she comes in, pushes the baby right out. Here comes our little peanut. Out you come. Okay. Shoulders come easily. Here comes baby. Hi, little guy. And so we've got our blanket here. We're going to get our baby all dried and stimulated. And then we're going to bulb suction the mouth and nose. And then we're going to cord clamp here for a second. If baby's nice and vigorous, we actually don't have to do that right away. If baby's not vigorous, we might try to get him over to the warmer. So we're going to clamp our cord here. Then we're going to put another clamp on. And then we're going to cut between. Now, obviously, if this is a mannequin, I don't want to cut it. So we're going to attach our little guy here. And we're going to put him right up onto mom with our nice warm blanket. Get baby all warmed up and crying and have mom hold him. And now we're going to turn our attention to the maternal side. So we've got our cord hanging here. And we're going to look for three signs that our placenta is ready. So the three signs that our placenta might be ready are we're going to get a spontaneous lengthening of the cord. So as we're sitting here, we're just going to see the cord just go like that. So you get this spontaneous lengthening of the cord. We also see we're having a little gush of blood here. So this gush of blood is another sign that the placenta is ready. And then the third sign is that we're getting a globular or balling up of the uterus. So if we have those three signs coupled with, if we can, just by reaching two fingers in, reach in and feel the cord insertion into the placenta, that, those are the three signs that our placenta is ready to come. And feeling that cord insertion, you can see you can see it right here. You see that cord insertion, you know you can have mom give a little gentle pressure and you're going to deliver the placenta. Now, why is that so important? So if we don't wait for those signs and the placenta is still attached to the uterus and we just start yanking on this placenta, on this cord, one of the things we can do is avulse the cord. Well, that's bad because now you've got the placenta in and the cord out and you can have to reach in and get that placenta. The other thing you can do is you can invert the uterus. So what happens is, is you pull down, and as you're pulling, you pull that placenta, but it's still attached to the wall of the uterus. So the placenta comes out, and with coming right behind that placenta is the fundus of the uterus attached to the back wall of the placenta. And what that's going to look like is as you're delivering the placenta, you're going to notice it's very firmly adherent. You're really going to have to pull at it and the globular fundus of the uterus is going to be right behind it. So often that will look like a big mass of the inverted sock of the uterus there. So when you see that, what you're going to want to do is push that right back up, re revert the uterus back to its internal state, and not have that fundus prolapsing down through the cervix. You want to do that quickly, or it's going to become a edematous, and you won't be able to do it.